there is a road here, but I cannot see it at all. Now that is something you just don't see a whole lot anymore. A winter storm warning continues until 9 a.m. this morning. Overcast today with a high of 15. Northwesterly winds 8 to 15 miles an hour. Well, good morning, everyone. So it's, uh, what time is it? I don't know, six o'clock in the morning. I've been out plowing with this thing and we're already broke down. Something's froze up in the air system and she won't build any air. I was out plowing and it started beeping at me and I had about 70 pounds of air. So I decided I probably better hurry up and get back. I had just enough air to get back, took it easy on the brakes and we got it in the shop to thaw out. So I got the payloader outside warming up. We're gonna take that out. We got a pretty nasty snowstorm last night. They were calling for eight to 10 inches of snow, blowing wind. It's cold, the snow's light and fluffy, so it just blows everywhere and drifts. Dad's out with the grader. We actually took the plows home with us last night, so I had this sitting outside all night. That's probably why it froze up. But if we wouldn't have done that, I don't think I would have been able to get to town with my pickup. It was, roads were pretty nasty. So I got that payloader warming up. Should be about ready to go. We're gonna take off. All right, here we are, the sun's up. It's over there somewhere. It's a little cloudy out this morning, but these roads are not good. We went out last night about 6.30 and it was blowing and snowing so bad that we would make a pass and it would just fill right back in behind us, just instantly. So we decided to drive the trucks home and just park them. There was just, I mean, we couldn't really do anything. We just had to kind of wait for the snow to quit. We got back out early this morning and we're getting these roads cleaned up. It pretty much quit snowing. The wind's still blowing. Um, that one truck is broke down with the wing on it. So we're just trying to get everything opened up and passable. And then later on, we'll probably get the wing back on and get everything widened out. Yeah, it's really hard to see the edge of the road when it snows like this. Um, a couple things that I kind of look for, can't really see it here, but uh, sometimes the grass will kind of poke through the snow on the edge of the road. Over here, I've got some sticks that I can see. That's kind of what I'm going by. Other things like on this side, you can see where we plowed to before. Now that is where the wing got to, so I don't want to get that close to the payloader. Otherwise, I'll slide into the ditch and could possibly get stuck. So you really just have to take your time when the roads are this covered. You don't want to go flying through and then get off just a little bit and it sucks you in the ditch and then you're stuck because that would be embarrassing and it just wouldn't be very productive. This payloader is really nice for cleaning up intersections. You can spin it around on a dime. Uh, you can push it out farther than you can with the trucks because you can be you can get off the road a little bit and still be able to back out. If you get off the road with the truck, sometimes it's hard to get the front wheels pulled out. If, you know, if there's a little bit of a ditch or something. So you can push it back farther with this. It's just really handy. I thought it was funny. Somebody commented that they used to run a snowplow, and he thought that the people thought the snowplow operators were just supposed to take all the snow with them when they went by. I thought that was kind of funny, but when we get this much snow, it is kind of hard to figure out where to put it. You know, you can only push it back so far, and we're getting to the point now where the edges of the roads where it drifts real bad. Once I get turned around, I can show you an example of that, but where it drifts so bad, we've pushed it back so far, and it's getting so high that we can't really do much more with it. Right over here on your right, just a second. Right there is kind of an example of that. We've pushed that back pretty far and we're getting to where there's not a whole lot of room for any more snow. So sometimes when we get this problem, we'll take the payloader and we'll come through here and we'll just, you know, go sideways on the road and just push that snow out into the field as far as we can. It's uh, not a very efficient way to move the snow, but it's about the only way we can get it off the road enough that we can get through and it'll It'll give the snow some room to drift off the road that way. So I'm thinking we might have to do that in a few places later. It just kind of depends on if the snow keeps blowing and if we get any more snow. When the snow's so light and fluffy like this, it's kind of cool to watch it slide across the ditch as you go know by with the snow plow. But uh, I gotta look forward so I don't get distracted and drive off the side of the road. But 
it is kind of cool how it just slides over, which actually helps because it doesn't leave a pile at the edge of the road. It just kind of slides over and stays relatively flat. That way it doesn't have something to drift off of. So this light fluffy snow is definitely a lot easier to plow, better to plow. Uh, it doesn't take as much horsepower and somebody just threw a snowball at my windshield. It doesn't take as much horsepower, it doesn't take as much fuel, and uh, it's just easier to deal with. And the reason why it is so light and fluffy is because it's been ridiculously cold lately. It, uh, we've had highs in the single digits, and that's Fahrenheit, not Celsius. Uh, wind chill factor in negative 10, negative 15 area. Really, the winds haven't been that bad. I can remember last year we had a couple days where we were getting like 30 mile per hour wind gusts and we had like minus 30 wind chill, but it hasn't been that bad yet. It still isn't fun, but it's manageable. We're doing the best we can. It's still cold. not really doing the best job just because it's not wide enough and the snow is not heavy I can move it really easily with the wing so I'm gonna see if this truck's thawed out enough Get some light in here see if it'll start building air pressure and I'd really like to be able to run it so we're gonna get it fired up see if it builds air if not I'll just head back out in the payloader there we go we're building air pressure now I think we're back in business. Well, I didn't even get out of the driveway and I got stuck. I uh, tried to push the snow out of the yard and I couldn't get back up. There's a little bit of an incline here. So I threw some chips down behind the tires, backed right out. So we got the truck over here. It's not stuck over there. I'm just sitting there. We got some deep snow here in the yard and I kind of plowed a couple paths when I came back to get the payloader. And uh, Kind of a mess around here so i'm gonna put this payloader back in the shed real quick and get to plowing some roads all right here we go well, let's try not to get stuck again now 
that is something you just don't see a whole lot anymore. The neighboring township's got the V-plow out. I suppose it's deep enough in places you probably need it. Our township has a V-plow. Hasn't been used in years. So I'm pretty sure it goes on the road grader. I think it'd be pretty sweet to make it so we could put it on the payloader because I've had places where it was drifted so bad the only thing you could do was bust it through with the bucket of the payloader, not the plow, but the bucket. If you had a V-plow on there, you could ram into it as fast as you can, and if you get buried in, you could just lift it up over the top of the snow and back right out. So it's one of those things you probably would never need it if you spent the money to convert it over, but I guess it would be a good option. So I just passed my wheat field a little ways back, and uh, one good thing about the snow is we've got plenty of snow cover to insulate that wheat from the cold temperatures. It seems counterintuitive, but the snow actually insulates the wheat. You would think because snow is cold that it would freeze the wheat, but it can't handle the extreme cold temperatures, and the snow helps it get through, so that is a good thing. Boy, it sure is deep here and I still can't see the road. I can barely see some grass right over here, so I'm just really trying to stay on the road. Um, yeah, I don't wanna get stuck. I really, really don't wanna get stuck. I've done that enough this year, so we don't need to be doing that. Like you can see in my mirror how deep it is behind me. It's at least a couple feet deep, this drift over on my left side. I'll have to come back through here and push that back. I'm trying to stay on the right side of the road. We'll get that opened up a little better. Now that we're out here in the trees where there's no wind blowing, uh, you can really tell how much snow we got. I'd say we got at least 10 inches. I would have to uh, get out and verify that. but. It's pretty deep. We don't usually get big snows like this. Sometimes we don't even get 10 inches in a whole year. This winter is definitely an exceptional winter. We've got plenty of snow. In the past two and a half weeks, I've plowed every day except three. We just keep getting a little snow every single day, it seems like, just enough that we have to go out. But we finally got another big one and uh, it's taking a little more to deal with it. Well, I need to get out and stretch my legs a bit. And I feel like the front blade is not angling to the right as far as it normally does. Let's take a look at this. And I guess it looks like that cylinder's all the way in. And it's pretty close to the wing. I don't know, it just, it doesn't feel right. I don't think there's anything broken on it. I don't know, everything looks fine. So normally that road I would not attempt knowing that we got this much snow. Let's see if I can get out of the wind. There's a little bit of a hill. Yes, that's what we call a hill. We're pretty flat out here, but those trees right there, the wind will come over the top and it will just dump in and fill in. And I've seen it as tall as the payloader in there, but it looks like somebody drove through there and they made it. So I should be all right with the truck. I'm gonna see what we got. Definitely pretty deep in here. I don't, that's probably about the 15th time I've said that in this video. But uh, yeah, she's handling it decent all right. Sometimes what I'll do if it's real deep is I'll bust through without the wing first, but as light as this snow is, I got the wing down. We're gonna try to do it in two passes instead of four, so. I don't know if you can see it, but the road is higher. I mean, the field is higher on both sides of the road here. And that's where it gets really deep. The wind just blows across there and fills in. But we busted it open enough that it had room to fill in and it wasn't too bad. So, and now we'll climb the hill. intersection.
So I had a couple people suggest not running the defrost, and I gotta say that was a good suggestion. I've always thought that it might work better if I keep the windshield cold, but I never really tried it. So it works better at night when the sun's not shining. The problem I'm having today is the sun's out and it's still warming up the windshield enough to melt the ice to it, but it's still doing all right. So, but yeah, keeping it cold definitely works. That snow just kind of bounces right off of it. The only problem I have with that is when I take Leah with me, she breathes so much that she fogs up the windows. But oh well, she enjoys it, the things we do for our pets. Now I'm going through the uh, state wildlife area, some hunting grounds. People go hunting out here, but it's really pretty out here in the winter when it snows. It snows pretty deep. And this hasn't been winged back for a while, so the edge of the snow, or the edge of the road, is pretty deep and pretty hard. So it's uh, taking some power to get it pushed back, but we're getting through it all right. must just be too warm today. I don't have the defrost on and it's still melting to the windshield. It's uh, 14 degrees positive for a change. So it actually feels pretty good outside, but I gotta get out and clean my wipers off because I can't see much. It's a little better. Probably should clean that off. better. There's a bunch of deer crossing the road up here. Let's see if there's any more when I get up there. There's a lot of oak trees out here. This part is a nature preserve, so you can't hunt in there, but I guess they call them, what is it called? Something like oak savannas. It's really sandy soil and uh, a lot of oak trees, so I think the deer like them. I don't see any more right now. I've been seeing a ton of pheasants lately. You used to never see them. You just, you know, one here and there. But I've been seeing a bunch lately. Well, I think that's gonna... Oh, that's loud. I think that's gonna just about do it for this video. I uh, went home, made some lunch, picked up Leah, cleaned out our driveway, got a couple roads ahead on the way back to town, and I am just about out of fuel. So I better not mess around too much. So yeah, we got a pretty big snowstorm. Thankfully this wind quit and it, the snow's not blowing around like crazy anymore. We were actually able to get the roads opened up. Last night when we went out, like I said, it would just blow back in as soon as we plowed it. So uh, we got everything opened up good. I don't know what the weather's supposed to do you know, the rest of the day and tomorrow. I think there might be another chance of snow for tomorrow. Hopefully the wind doesn't pick up. They were talking about wind chill factors, but there's not really much for wind, so I don't know what that's all about. Anyways, hope you're enjoying these snowplow videos. I, uh, to be honest, I'm kind of getting sick of long snow. I'm ready for spring, but you guys seem to enjoy it, so. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you on the next one. Right, Leah?